Good day everyone. Today we're going to factor complex trinomials by trial and error. But before we do, I just want to mention that when our kids, Ben and Emily, were little, my wife Louise and I would always try to make activities educational as well as fun. So one day, when our son Ben was four, he wanted to paint. So I said, sure Ben, let's paint. But we're going to paint rainbows so that we can learn something about them. So we did, and here's one of the paintings we came up with. You can see the colors are correct from top to bottom. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Yeah, I know the blue is bleeding into the violet quite a bit, but still, it's not too bad. And here's the other one we painted. Let's see what you think. I must say I like this one much better, much more abstract, much more interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, consider a complex trinomial, 12x squared, plus 22x minus 70. Based on our, my recent videos, it's the first thing I should do is to look for two numbers that multiply to 12 times negative 70, which equals negative 840, and the same two numbers adding up to 22. Yes? No? Well, we could, but it's not the best thing to do. The best thing to do is to common factor first to make the numbers smaller and easier to work with. If I do that, this becomes 2 times 6x squared plus 11x minus 35. So if I continue, I'm going to get 2 times so many x's plus or minus some number, I'll call it number 1, times so many x's plus or minus some number, which I'll call number 2. Now, we know that these two must multiply to 6x squared, and these two must multiply to negative 35, and furthermore, we know that the x's will be obtained by doing the outside and the inside. And they have to add up to 11x. So what are the possibilities? Well, these numbers could be x and 6x or 2x and 3x. You might think they could both be negative, but it turns out the negative will factor out in the end, so we won't get a different answer. And over here, we've got four possibilities. 1 and negative 35, negative 1 and 35, 5 and negative 7, and negative 5 and 7. I'm going to consider the factors to be written across the board, like this. So for example, if it turned out to be this one and this one, it would be 2x plus 5 and 3x minus 7. Now I'm not saying that's right. We'll find out in a minute. But the thing is that when, when you multiply to get the x's, you multiply from one bracket into the other. So if the factors are written across, we would have to multiply diagonally like this. And you'll see that's what I get down here. First I get 6x squared, of course, from the f in FOIL. The outside gives me negative 14x. The inside gives me 15x. So you see I am multiplying diagonally to get those two terms. And then, of course, minus 35. But this does not add up to 11x, so that's not the correct possibility. Now, these aren't all the possibilities either. I need to do one more thing, because how do I know that the x goes, or the 2x goes with the 5, or the 2x goes with the negative 7? So I need to flip either these or these. It's, it's easier to flip those. There's only two of them. So if I flip those, I'm going to get more possibilities, the rest of the possibilities. So now I can look for the right answer, the one that gives me 11x. So take a few moments to see if you can see which one works. You might want to pause the video. I'll show the answer momentarily. So don't restart until you get it. Okay, you ready? Well, it turns out that the one that works 
is the 3x goes with the negative 5. So it's going to be these here. And the 2x goes with the 7. So to check that, I have to multiply diagonally. As explained over here. So if I do that, of course I'm going to get 6x squared. I'm going to get negative 35. I get 3x times 7, which is 21x. And I get 2x times negative 5, which is negative 10x. And sure enough, that does add up to 11x. So big fat check mark, or better yet, smiley face. OK, there you have it. Let's decide which method you like best. That's the method you should use. See you next time.